Did you guys think I forgot about you? I didn't forget about you. Just been busy. figured it's time for an update. I do apologize for the shaky camera. I actually got a gimbal, but my phone Bluetooth doesn't connect to it. So it like works for 10 seconds and then it doesn't work anymore. Just a quick update, been working a lot. I'm really liking dealing at Sahara. It's a great gig. Um, been getting some poker coaching and playing a little bit. Happy with my improvements and stuff. Um, as far as vlogging goes, I have a couple of side projects I'm working on, uh, some by myself and some with other people. So we'll see what happens. And um, definitely need to figure out a situation for like a gimbal for more steadier recording. Maybe there's something that doesn't need Bluetooth, but I'm not entirely sure because it looks like my phone's Bluetooth just doesn't work or want to cooperate. Maybe it's just a gimbal. I'm not entirely sure. So. I'll give it another try, see if I can figure it out, and if not, maybe you'll be stuck with uh, some shaky footage for another month or so. On another note, so yesterday we went cliff diving. The place was called uh, like Nelson's Ledge or something. Holy smokes, so scary. I jumped from 35 feet. I got a little sunburnt, but not on my head. I made sure to keep lots of sunscreen on my head. My shoulders are a little burnt, my face is a little burnt, but not my scalp, because last time uh, I was outside for too long, my scalp got fried, and I was a very sad pee man for a week or two. Um, yeah, it's a good time with good friends, so very, very fun getting outside and going swimming and jumping off cliffs. I had terrible landings, though, because I basically used all of my focus and willpower to throw myself off the ledge and didn't really focus on my form at all, just because, you know, it's, it's actually a little, a little nerve-wracking being so high up, so... I, I was just standing there using all my willpower to get the courage to like literally fling my body off the ledge and you know by the time I'm in the air I don't really have much time to fix the form so I actually landed on my neck and upper body the second time. The first jump I landed on, the first jump I landed on my thighs, the second one was a little worse but neck and upper body are doing okay so it was just a little, little pain on impact. <laughs> I am off to work, working a swing shift this week. Booked my holiday flights for Thanksgiving and Christmas and got the approval to go ahead and take those days off. So very excited and looking forward to seeing the fam again. Stay tuned guys, big things coming. Check out what just came in the mail. Pretty hyped, honestly. We got little P-Man business cards. Someone suggested the idea, I liked it. Got like 500 of these for eight bucks. So we'll be handing these out should be a good time so we still have no gimbal right now correction we have a gimbal that i can't seem to work so i think tonight i'm gonna meet with my buddy see if we can figure it out because this uh bounciness i know it's unacceptable guys i appreciate you bearing with me we're just headed to another beautiful day of work um was looking at the wsop schedule looks like a lot of good tournaments good value should be playing a couple of those if not a few more and just grinding cash in our free time. So life is good, God is great. No complaints for P-Man. Actually, I lied. I have a, one minor complaint that's kind of been talking at me. You know, there's a lot of homeless people here and it makes me feel really sad and I wanna help them and I don't know how. Like, if, even if I had like a billion dollars, I don't know where I'd begin to tackle the problem of homelessness because it's such a huge problem in so many places and not all of it comes down to money, so. But then part of me feels like a hypocrite when they ask for money and I say no. I mean, it just sucks. It's like I want everyone to be able to live life to the best of their abilities. Some people choose not to, some people aren't able to. And it's like, it just makes me sad, you know? I don't know, like, I don't know what GTO says to do here. I don't know what the solvers would do. Just a all around kind of shitty situation makes me sad. Well, I'll be darned, already off work. Just a quick little two hour shift. Uh, I'll take it, man. Tips were good. Hourly and tips is where it's at. Um, 
Let's head it home now. Gonna probably chill for a little bit and then hit Resorts World for some one dollar, three dollar. Gonna try and take all the money. Let's see what we can do. So far, so good. We're up a couple hundred, been playing for a couple hours. Feeling good, playing well. Misplayed uh, one hand when we flopped a set of kings. It was an ace-king blank board, ace on the turn. And I got scared for some reason and checked. And then the river was uh, was a nine. So there was, it was king, nine, nine, ace, ace. And I just lost to an ace. Should have bet turn, but in hindsight, I saved some money. Another beautiful day in paradise, 99 degrees. And I have some good news for you guys. You see all the shakiness? Stay tuned for the rest of the vlog. Might be going away. Guys, I'll be honest. I love the idea of a gimbal in concept, but it ain't working. It's hard to, to put the phone in there and get it to work. And it's hard like get in and out of the backpack. And on top of that, like sometimes the videos don't save. So like on a scale of one to 10, how bad is the shakiness? You guys let me know because we, we might, this might be what we do when we walk. I don't know. Well, we have a gimbal. It was working earlier. There we go. Hey guys, we finally got a gimbal. So hopefully the quality is a little better. Still a little shaky, I know. Holy fucking shit, my hands are shaking. I literally have a million dollars in front of me. Well, close to like 2,000 or 3,000. Um, we got it all in four ways or something for $450 with Queens. Um, I made a 10, two callers, someone went all in for 69, Person on my right flat calls, a friend of mine, she flat calls. I just jam for 450. Someone folds, someone calls, she calls, uh, and I end up holding. The board was something six, jack, six, queen on the river, but queens were good. Uh, the whale had fives and she had uh, ace king. And then, literally, next hand, as I'm stacking this ginormous stack of chips, we get ace king. Uh, it had been raised to 15. Folds to us, we make a 50, whale calls, flop, ace, eight, two. Uh, I check, he bets big, I call, turns a king. I, I might have bet flop, I honestly don't remember, my adrenaline's crazy. But I bet 150 on the turn, and that gets a call. River's an eight. I, I, I check because the flush gets there, and also, this guy's a whale, so he's gonna bet. He goes all in for like three times the pot. I snap call him, I'm like, he either has pocket fives and got there, or we're just great with top two. And he had 810 for like a pair of eights that turned into a bluff. I am so happy, so freaking happy. All right, now that the adrenaline has died down a little, we're gonna go back and uh, play some cards. All right, we're still playing. Ooh, there's an echo in here. We're still up quite a few bucks. Someone just joined the table and is going all in blind for $100. Uh, so we're taking just a little breather because we're very, very deep and there's someone else who has maybe a, a thousand. But uh, we were in the small blind, he went all in blind. Uh, we're second last to act, I have ace jack, so I call, big blind folds, and we held against his random bullshit. It's our party. You're Last tilted. It's 4am, we're leaving Resorts World. I usually don't talk numbers on here because it's all relative, but we did just book our biggest win. We end the session plus $1,975. I'm very happy, very lucky, uh, just amazed, proud, you know. Um, just had a few key situations where my cards held and hit. I mean, the ace-king hand I had a little more played with than the queens. Um, so yeah, it was a great night, very fun. Very proud of how I handled myself and uh, I didn't punt it all back, you know. And, when I felt like the time was uh, right, I was like, okay, let's uh, go ahead and cash out. I'm not playing to the best of my abilities anymore. So that's a win in my book. Very, very good stuff. I just want to end this vlog by thanking all of you so much for watching and supporting me. It's been a really great month here for me in Las Vegas. I'm getting really excited for the World Series of Poker. Definitely gonna be firing the employees event. Not sure what else. Please make sure you like, subscribe, Hit that follow button, hit that notification bell. If you'd like to go above and beyond with your support, I have created a Patreon. The first three patrons will receive something super spectacular. Not really sure what yet. Maybe we can figure something out. Check it out. It's fucking lit.